Uh, we'll come down here to Juan first. Hey, Dave, how's uh, Trey doing? Was there any doubt that he was going to be in there at some point today? Um, there was a little doubt. Uh, he went and got a, uh, an x-ray last night. Um, he uh, had an MRI today. And uh, it's just a grade two sprain of his fourth digit on the throwing hand. Um, but uh, he feels good, swung the bat, took grounders through, and, and feels good enough to go. And then uh, for the lineup, what went into going with Taylor and Thompson and leaving Bellinger on the bench? Yeah, you know, uh, it, it was, uh, you know, I, I think uh, it's, I just felt that um, Cody hasn't had a lot of success against uh, Musgrove um, in a good sample. Um, and I, I just, uh, Joe's had a lot more success versus left-hand hitters than right-hand hitters. And um, there's a lot of spin, and I just feel that tonight, to win one game, I just felt that uh, Trace and, and uh, Chris, you know, just had a better chance. And so, uh, obviously, Cody wants to be in there, but, you know, this is a decision, you know, that I had to make, that I chose to make. I'm going to go down here in the front to Claudia. Dave. What's about this team that gives you the confidence about winning this game, and what's the urgency? Well, there's a ton of urgency. Um, uh, so I, I think that's very clear. Uh, as far as the confidence, I, I think it's there's not going to be any panic. I, I don't think guys are going to try to do anything out of character. Um, there's some experience to it. We've been here. But again, none of it really matters, um, you know, once the game starts. You've got to go out there and play a good baseball game and outplay the other ball club. And, and if we do that, I like our chances. Okay. On the right, Fabia. Yeah, Dave, uh, we saw Trey testing out throwing earlier. Was there any consideration of the DHing him today? Or? There was, there was, and, and I gave him that option. <laughs> and and uh, he said he wanted to go through the workout and felt that uh, he could play short and throw it across a diamond. And just considering its potential elimination for you guys, is it all hands on deck situation pitching wise for you guys, or are you just going to try to hold some guys back in case? Um, tomorrow? Yeah, all the guys that we have in the pen outside of Heaney, who threw last night, will be available. Okay, on the left here, Tony. Doc, you guys have handled this pitching staff pretty well during the regular season. Struggled with runners in scoring position thus far in this series. Is this rotation, is this pitching staff pitching you guys any differently than they did during the season? Um, you know, I, I think. I think there's a little bit to that. Um, I, I think that, uh, you know, in some instances there's been more spin, but then there's kind of been more fastballs. Uh, Justin and Will have gotten a lot of fastballs, a lot of challenge fastballs, um, some in zone, some out of zone. Um, but I think some of the tendencies may be a little bit. Um, but again, we've had opportunities to take advantage of mistakes. And we haven't done that. OK, front row right here. Scott? Hey, Dave, just to clarify, sometimes I struggle with both science and counting. Trey, fourth digit right hand, little finger? It's the ring, it's ring, the, finger. Uh, the ring finger, correct. OK. That's right. Thank you. OK, we're going to go back there in the middle. Carrie? Dave, this team back in June had this eight game stretch. We're struggling with runners in scoring position. When you look back at that, how did you guys pull out of that? Um, I think there was uh, kind of a, a meeting of the minds as far as the, hit the hitters themselves and kind of just trying to simplify and um, talk about team offense, taking good at bats, using the big part of the field, um, taking walks when needed, kind of like that. And, and so, um, you know, a lot of times when teams, and again, this is three games, so this is not a course of even eight games. This is just three games um, where I think the tendency is you start to be aggressive out of zone. And so um, in this situation where our backs are against the wall, you have to make something out of it. But again, it's still three games. And it, it's, uh, it's known to our hitters what we need to do uh, to push some runs across. OK, stay over here on the left. Alden. Hey, Dave, what, what was your conversation with Cody Bellinger like? Um, and how did he take not being in here, not being in the lineup today? Um, he was upset. He was upset. He uh, he wants to. He wanted to be in there. He expected to be in there um, all year long. I've played up against right-handed uh, pitching, and uh, he wanted to be in there. But uh, he also said he'll be ready for whatever we need. In the back, Jim. 
Yeah, Doc, uh, your team has been through this before. You've been through it before. They, stole, they showed your stolen base on FS1 <laughs> this morning. But what is it about the approach, the, the attitude, whatever, in the clubhouse that enables your guys to function in elimination games? I, I think, Jim, what we've done very well at all year um, is not getting ahead of ourselves and focusing on the day at hand, uh, the game at hand. And that doesn't change. Um, certainly, if we don't win today, there's no game tomorrow. But I think just the, the preparation, the mindset of just winning today uh, is something that is very familiar to us. Okay, going to go over here, uh, Bill. Yeah, Dave, with Bellinger, looking back over the last couple of years, how challenging, how difficult has it been to manage your expectations of who he should be or can be versus the player that he is in the present? Um, it, it's difficult. Uh, there's no exact uh, science to it. Um, I think I've shown that um, I've supported him. I've given him uh, a lot of leash um, because he's earned it. And also, I believe in the player, uh, the talent, the person. Um, but I just felt that, you know, and that's difficult, you know, at times. Um, and I think I've been consistent with that. But in this particular moment, um, with all the information I have, with what I've seen uh, recently, I had to make a difficult decision. And I feel that Chris Taylor deserves an opportunity to start two games in a row. And, um, and he's done a lot of good things in the postseason for us as well. And I feel that Trace Thompson all year long versus right-handed pitching has been very consistent and nothing has changed uh, from what I've seen. Okay, I'm gonna go right here in the front, Bob. Dave, one more on uh, uh, Trey Turner. If this was a regular season, would he be on the injured list or is not that bad? He would not be on the injured list, but I would say that if it was a regular season, he might take a day. Okay, okay we're going to go over here on the left, Mike. Dave, uh, Justin Turner had said when you guys were in the bubble in 2020 and fell three one, down 3-1 to the Braves facing elimination that the group text really started to change as far as motivation, as far as him stepping up, saying we're not losing this series. Are you seeing any of that today, either in group text or in person? And if it hasn't happened yet, do you expect some leaders on this team to, to give them a motivational talk or something? I, I haven't heard anything about a group text. I'm familiar with the one uh, you know, in 20. And uh, this ball club is about the players, the veteran players, the young players. It's about them. And, and so I'm sure that they've communicated between themselves, but I don't care to get involved in that. Um, my kind of my trust, my expectation in them is that those 26 guys will be ready to win a ball game and, and do whatever it takes. So that's kind of where I'm at. Okay. We're going to go back on the right, Jack. When you talk about the urgency level, where do you see that come out before the game and then during the game? I, I think uh, urgency before the game, uh, I wouldn't say you could see any difference. Um, urgency during the game, I think that uh, you, you probably will see that more in the pitching, um, kind of trying to maximize uh, certain margins um, when possible, um, as something might uh, present itself. Because I think that um, in the postseason, uh, you don't always have the luxury of being reactionary. Uh, I think that you've got to be more proactive, more so than in the regular season. And then you guys talked about wanting to clinch early, wanting to come into the postseason rested, but has there been an adjustment period at all to the intensity of these games and the intensity of this environment in these first couple games of the series? Um, God, I, I just, I mean, I, I think that you can look, you can look, um, I mean, to be quite honest, I think that we've thrown out as many hits and, and hit as many homers as those guys have. Um, I think that the timing of the hits might be different. So I don't necessarily, you know, think it's the layoff. You know, maybe if we weren't and the hits were, were skewed or the slug um, one way to the other, you could debate it. But I, I think that it's been pretty even. Just their hits have been more timely. Have your guys been pressing too much in some of those situational hitting spots? Or is it just one of those? I think so. I, I think a little bit of maybe not pressing, but not being as patient as we probably could have been. Okay, we're going to take the last one, Dylan. Is there any scenario today in which Arias pitches out of the No, pen? no, not at all. Okay. 
Thanks, Thanks guys. Dave.